Hi everyone, this is Carl. Welcome to Novastar webinar. Um, today's topic is about memory and module. Before we start, please help check if your mic is muted. And please test me your name, email address, and a company name for record privately. We will share the PowerPoint and the video in a few days. You can also find all the videos of previous webinars in our YouTube channel. Just search Novastar on it. We also have a Q&A part later. You can type the questions in chat window. After the presentation, we will answer the questions one by one. Uh, for questions not relevant to the memory or module, please feel free to email us at northamerican at novastar.tech. Our engineer will follow up and get in touch with you. Uh, now, let's welcome Ricky to start the main course. Hey, Ricky, you can take over now. Thank you, Carl. Um, just want to check. Uh, am I voice okay? Can everybody hear me? Okay, thank you. Got it. Okay, just want to say thank you all for joining this webinar today. And today's topic is module flash. And we also call it memory on module sometime. And just because the, on, on the software is translated to module flash, so that's the name of the topic. Okay, so um, before actually talking about what is module flash, and may somebody maybe saw, everybody saw a, a flash shape on the module. So this is a, a, a back of a module. And if the module is designed with, with a flash module flash, we should see a driver shape, a shape like this. And uh, that is the SPI flash shape. Or if you want to check whether your module is, is uh, 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 a module flash compatible, you can also check the, the pin definition. Like if you check the pin definition here, there's one called SPI MOSI or SPI MISO. And also we have SPI clock and SPI uh, chip slab. So what if you, you have the, the pin definition with SPI, especially, especially MOSI or MISO, which means a module is designed with the flash, with module flash. So you, you will have the module flash function in the future. And then, we, after we know that this is a basic hardware design of the module flash. So if you wanna have the module flash on your screen, it should be done at a manufacturer. So they will, when they design their, the manufacturer, when they design their modules, they should design in the actual circuit and the actual uh, uh, SPI flash chip on it. That, that's not something you can add when you receive your module. That just want everybody aware that that's the work needs to be done by the manufacturer. And today's presentation will talk about what is, what is module flash and when uh, how does it work for module flash and uh, then we will list some scenario of using module flash when you need the module flash and how module flash can help um, when you work on site so for the first topic what is module flash here's a here's the case when we look at a screen uh, for some reason the half the left 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 half of the screen uh, they, we just lose the, the calibration data on the left half of the screen. And the customers find that issue, and then the customers, the customer will communicate with the sales representative uh, at the manufacturer. And then the sales manager will, will contact the, the support engineer. And then the support engineer will check the calibration data, and they may down that for two years and uh that, that that screen which means that that screen has been calibrated two years ago so they, they need the engineer need to find the data 
uh, which created two years ago. Sometimes the data just lost at, at, at the manufacturer. The manufacturer doesn't have the data, the calibration data for the screen at all. So that will be an issue because there's, if there's no original data and we lost the data on the receiving cards, just, just no data at all, we'd have to re recalibrate the screen. But if that screen has, design, uh, has been designed with a memory module or a module flash, what do we need to do? Just one click on the software and we can just e easily restore all the calibration database back from the module flash to the receiving card. And we will, we will fix that issue easily, pretty easy. And that's, that's the, bit, um, the, the most things uh, the module flash are designed to solve. And let's see how they work. This is a really simple, really simple st structure of, of, uh, of a cabinet or of a panel. And uh, we, we can see we have a receiving car in the middle. And we have another four, another four modules. And there's a, there, here's a flash. Here's a flash, which is on the, on the receiving card. We, we, we use it as the, an, an example here. And there's a flash on the receiving card, which is saving the, the calibration data. And if the, if the LED module are designed with a module flash, which means each module should have one flash chip on it. And just want to say that during the, the normal a running procedure of the, the control system, we always using the data, the calibration data on the receiving card. It's always on the receiving card, which means if you want to make sure the, the calibration data is correct on the screen, we need to make sure the data is correct, is correct on the, the, the flash on the receiving card. So by checking when this and the system is working, it's uh, by checking whether we have correct uh, uh, coefficients on the receiving card, we can just check from the software. And this is uh, the main page of the, the uh, module flash. And you can see we can easily select better topology of the screen, select which panel we're going to configure. And for the operation above, checking, checking the, whether we have correct configuration, sorry, correct data on the, the receiving card, we can just click, there's a button called view receiving card calibration data. I click that, that button, we can just check the, the result on the screen, whether the calibration data is good. And also, Let's go back to the structure again. If, one, if you want to check whether the calibration data is, is correct on each single LD module, which means we need to make that four, flash, four flashes on the four modules to be correct. And we have to enable or to, to use the calibration from the module. And in that case, we can just click view module calibration uh, coefficients. So by click those those two bottom, those two button here, we are, we are able to check whether we have correct uh, calibration coefficients on module and on, re on on receiving cards. So once we know how to check the calibration data on receiving cards or on on the module, then we in, in, in the real um, real world, we may meet some scenario and we just listed three, most of the common use uh, th scenario of using module flash. The first one is after we replace the module. So we can see here, we have a, we have a module 
a block here with different branches and uh, it's really blocky and noisy. And we just uh, simulate this is a new module and we just uh, with a bad module and we just replace with a new module. And then we just check um, and we just check, okay, this is the, the top right module of that cabinet. And then after finish or after we located where the module is, then we just go back to the structure again. So in that case, which means after we replace, after we replace the module, the new module which is, uh, which is on the top right corner, which is here, because the module holds its own its own calibration data, so that the module has, it's always taking the correct calib uh, calibration data with it. But the data on the receiving cars, which is incorrect, because the, the, the calibration data is for the old module. So that's why when you replace this new module, the uh, the brand is made different and it's it's noisy. That that's just because the receiving car is using the, the the calibration data for the old module. So in that case, what we should do is to put the to put the the, the, the calibration from the flash on the module to the receiving car. Once we've done that, the receiving car will have the correct calibration data for the new module and then I take that this is the, the saving safe calibration coefficients that button on the receiving car. Well that that will save the, the calibration from the module to the receiving cars. And now uh, after after we've done that the new module well looks uniform as the others. This is the, the first scenario after we replace the module. And we just take one module here as an example. If you replace mod multiple <coughs> modules, it's the same thing. And the second scenario is after we replace the whole receiving card. Like right now, the whole panel is consists of four modules, the whole panel. Uh, after we replace a new a new receiving card, and uh, it's become becomes noisy and with a different brands and color again. So let's let's check the structure again. In this case, just all modules stay there, they stay the same position. We just replace the receiving card, right? So the new receiving card doesn't have any conditions for those four modules. So which means that the currently the calibration data is wrong in the new receiving card. And so in this case, what we need to do is to, to push the, the calibration data from all the four modules to the receiving card to make sure receiving card have the correct correct uh, conditions. Just like uh, just like that. After we click uh, the save cal uh, calibration coefficients to the receiving car, and the, the new receiving car will have the uh, correct coefficients for those four modules. And in after we down that, the that section or that, that mo uh, panel will, will show the uniform uh, brightness and color as the others. This is a scenario for replace receiving card. And uh, usually those two are most common problems were scenario you when we use the um, module flash. And the third scenario, which is the <coughs> which is there's no coefficients on the modules at all. It's it's not common, but 
it's happened because for some um, the whole screen calibration, we calibration the screen on site with the screen calibration system. After the screen calibration, the calibration will only save to the receiving card, which means the, 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 we have to manually save the calibration data from the receiving card to the modules. But this is one case when there's no calibration on the module. Or for some reason, the data is, is, has been, is lost on, on the module. So in, when there's no calibration data on the, on the modules, when we checking the first one, view receiving card calibration data, that's for checking the data on the receiving card, and it's OK. Because that the data on the receiving card just is fine, and then after after that we when we check in the calibration data on the module, I click the view view module calibration calibration snap button. After we click that, we'll have maybe you will see like this. This is an an example. You have one module. Sorry, one panel that was different color, which means that panel or the, the modules on that panel is holding wrong calibration data on the module flash. And in this case, by checking the, the structure, right now um, the logic is, is opposite, which means because there's no calibration data on the module, so for each module, the data, the calibration data on each module is, is incorrect. It's all wrong, or there's no data at all. But on, on the receiving card, the data is good. So in this case, we will, we will push the calibration data from the receiving card to the modules. And uh, this, uh, there's still just one button on the software that we just click, save the data from the receiving card to the module, and then the software, the system will push the data and uh, will save the calibration data to each uh, uh, single LD module automatically. And after that, we go back to click the view module calibration functions. We we'll click the button again. You will, you will see um, that panel will have uniform brightness and color again. So there are three scenarios when we use module flash. Okay, and for this presentation today, for the, those two topics, what is module flash and, and a scenario of using uh of using the module flash after this the uh, uh, webinar we just want everybody to know why you need module flash and how module flash can help you on site and for the detailed operation it's not included in this presentation but after the webinar we, we do have a document another presentation with the step-by-step -step operation of the, the memory module we can share with all of you. And uh, we can just have a really quick go through with the uh, new presentation, another presentation with the step-by-step -step operation. So in this presentation, uh, we, we talk about the operation of the mo module flash. So it, it, it gives you step by step. So firstly, click that button, and it just marks which button or which option you need to select, and how go, how can we go to the module flash page? And once we go to the module flash page, and we can select by the the, the address, like a uh, which receiving card on which output port on which sending card. This is a physical address. Or uh, 
we can just select the whole screen if you want to check the conditions for the whole screen or if you want to check uh like the demo i used today by checking which is one single panel by selecting by the topology and when we select the, the one panel or the whole screen or whatever or uh, area area you want to check you can just click on view a uh, receiving car for checking the receiving car and also view the, the module calibration uh, to check the flash of data on the module. And if, if the module is right, and we can just click a save cal calibration data to the modules. And also in end of the, the, this presentation, which we're gonna share with you uh, after this webinar, with the simple, trouble, simple troubleshoot of the module flash. And when, I'm sorry, when the software indicates this is hardware failure, and then, uh, we have some possible reasons, and we the software indicates there's a communication error, or the software indicates this abnormal flash arrangement. For those three cases, uh, we will also list, it, list out the possible reasons for, for troubleshoot. And for now, um, that's that's really, actually that's all for today's topic module flash and and basically we just want everybody to know how to how to use the module flash or uh, how the module flash can help you on site and if you have any question uh just please uh, please send it to the the chat window and we will have someone uh and answer the questions one by one later Hello, everyone. 